This is 48 Vafiatis. It's a new construction duplex. This whole side, with the exception of that very first garage bay, is the section that is for rent. It's a dead-end street in Herman, which is only maybe a quarter mile over a line. It dead ends that house down there. It's really kind of unique because it's all on one floor and has a two-car garage, which is pretty much unheard of, even for new construction up here. This is the main entry here. It's actually got a nice backyard section. We'll see the entrance to that as well there. The um, patio is cement, plus it's cathedral. It's got a fan up there as well. This is uh, the walkway of cement too, which is a little unusual up here, but is a nice feature. Main entryway here. The owner did a couple nice upgrades that are a little unusual. Shoes off. It is all ceramic tile. Um, it's radiant in-floor heat, which is kind of awesome as well, so the floors are warm. It's got a pretty good sized closet here. I should come in the entryway. Then it's got kitchen with this big bar top. Nicer upper end appliances. It's got a Bosch dishwasher. It does actually have a disposable too, which all other places don't have. The um, layout being all on one floor, it has two and a half bathrooms. That's something else that's kind of unique. Just as you come in the door here, it's got the second bedroom, um, which would be the smaller of the two. I think it's actually still big enough to do a king size bed, but obviously make a good second bedroom, guest room, office type of thing. Um, it has a full guest bath, pretty unusual. It's got this, um, I guess what I would call a two person shower. And of course, toilet in the corner. And then it's got nice, I think 30 inch vanity, oversized. My extra, it's probably 36 inches. It does have a linen closet. They really did think of closet space, which is kind of nice. It's also got a little um, closet here for pantry, which is nice, even though it's got a ton of cabinet space. In fact, it's also got a cabinet over on this side, sort of like a buffet you sometimes see. So this is obviously all living room, big enough easily to do a uh, sectional recliner if somebody wanted. Cable internet is, of course, all in the walls. It's also got a mount um, for electric and cable up high for a flat screen if somebody wanted to. It's got the master. It's a thermostat for this unit. It's got the master, which again, sort of oversized to a king size bed without a problem. Master has its own bathroom and its own walk in closet with shelving on three sides, which is pretty nice. And you can see here they had a wall mount. This get patched if somebody didn't want to have a wall mount, but uh, the other wall mount would go in the same spot, and then it's got the connections there, so you don't have to have the cables if you don't want to. It does have a full bath here. Kind of nice, has a little window. Also has some vanity space over here for uh, linens, excuse me, linen space. And then it's got a full tub shower. Again, very nice. There's also a second closet on that side as you come in the master. So not only do you have the walk-in closet, but you've also got the closet. Kind of cool, this is that patio that goes just with this unit. You can see they did the cathedral with a fan uh, and then the rock over there. It does have an exterior door that goes into the garage and that has a half bath there, so you don't have to go through the master if you don't want to. Uh, and you don't have to walk around the building if you don't want to. Um, this second closet, again, kind of a standard closet, but nice because not only do you have the walk in, but you've got that other one as well. This one um, was just vacated, so we haven't done anything here. There's a few odds and ends that need repair, um, and probably we'll do a final clean through as well. And then we'll take a look at the garage. If you're using the garage for parking, obviously uh, you'd have coats and stuff hung up here, which is why this is here. Um, it's basically, a small bay and then a deeper bay, so you could get a small vehicle in on this side 
And then um, I think it's actually big enough to even to do uh, an SUV, um, unless you had a really oversized one. It does have the heating plant for the whole property is here. This does heat and hot water. And you can see all the radiant tubing that goes in the floor. Um, the garage is even heated, has its own thermostat. That's another nice sort of benefit is that you get uh, heat in the floor for your vehicle. It's not a cold garage, which usually if a place up here has a garage, it's still cold, it's not heated. So that's a very nice benefit. Then it's got like a, I guess what I would call a slop sink. You know, some extra shelving here. Um, and then this half bath so that if you're dirty and cleaning up or you're coming from outside, uh, you have a bathroom you can clean up in. So that completes 48 Vafiatis. Uh, does have auto door openers. Um, if you have questions, let us know. If you're interested, please do our rental agreement at, rental agreement, our rental application at rentbangor.com. That's rentbangor.com.